side of me, you see two scruffy trees. This is a tradition from the med medieval time when something was happening in a place, you would put two scruffy trees on either side of the entrance to show that something was going on in the house. And this time it's Christmas. My name is Gunny Blixen. I'm standing here in front of the entrance of Svonholm Castle. Because of the pandemic, we had to rearrange things. We couldn't arrange a Christmas market anymore, and instead we made a film. Now we are in a farmer's home. <coughs> I'm sitting here waiting for people to join me at the table. But just now, by the sunset, all the church bells have just started ringing. Men are outside, women as well, and listening to the church bells. It's gonna, it's gonna ring for an hour. In an hour's time, everyone will gather around this table and they would read the, the Gospel of Christmas and sing psalms and read psalms. After that, they will have their meal, a simple meal, perhaps fish, bread, some meat. In front of me, uh, you'll find a pile of bread. Everyone working on the farm would get this to bring back to the quarters later. It, would only, it, it will also include meat, smoked ham, etc. They will also have a branched candle with them and it's gonna, it symbolizes the Trinity, Father, Son and the Holy Ghost. During the evening, they will pick up the straw. The straw is on the floor to, to protect from the draft, but it's also a reminder of Jesus Christ being put in a mansion with straw. They would pick up the straw and make decorations like this, an angel or something else. In this room, there's a Christmas tree from the ceiling hanging upside down. And it doesn't have any decorations like that. They have potatoes wrapped in paper tissue, in red paper tissue, and cotton as well. It's hanging upside down. It looks very rugged. Maybe it's because of, of wild animals have been eating at, the, at it. And, but it should symbolize Moses and the burning bush. In this farmer's house, you can tell it's a rich farmer. Uh, if you look around, you can see she, uh, the wife is dressed up for the Christmas Eve and the man as well. Um, but you can see on the table, it's, it's, uh, there's a nice tablecloth. And under the table, you'll see a, a cross made of straw. And the cross made of straw is a symbolic gesture to, sh to give happiness to the family, but also to protect from all evil. On the floor, you will have lots of fir twigs to give a scent to the room but also to protect the evils for, uh, to come in. This home has a Christmas tree hanging from the ceiling in a right position, sort of, and it's decorated with apples, candles, and cottons, and small baskets uh, you would fill with raisin, perhaps, or nuts or so. So by looking at this, you can tell it's a rich family. On this poster, you see an elf sleeping in the straw in the stable. His job is to look after the animals and the farm. On Christmas Eve, the master of the house would give him a bowl of porridge, put it in the stable and leave it there to him to eat. Now we are in a stately home. In front of you, you see this Christmas tree richly decorated with angels, apples and small baskets with goodies and lights, candle lights. And on top you see the Swedish flag. This is very popular now. In a stately home like this, the Christmas preparations starts early, days before, because they prepare gifts to the children on the estate. So on Christmas, day before Christmas Eve, they would come to the castle and they would be given all the gifts and food to bring home to their parents. On Christmas Eve, the children would wake up. Now the time of the stocking, Christmas stocking, has arrived to the, this stately home. The children would look for the Christmas stocking. And in the morning coming, they would run down to the stables to feed the horses and give them 
some apples or carrots. <coughs> Afternoon is here and they are all expecting uh, to see the Christmas tree uh, because it's not placed here, it's placed in a big, big dining room. So in st starting the afternoon, they will start a meal in the dining room and eat ham, meat, richly food, ducks, etc. And after that, they will end up in the, another room having coffee and tea and cookies. And then the doors would be open to the big dining room and the children will see the big, huge Christmas tree. And the father would lit the candles and the mother would read the gospel of Christmas. And after that, the children would open their presents. But on each package, there is a rhyme, which should be read before you open it. Because the rhyme could mean you could guess perhaps what was in the package. <laughs>